Goes to Kansas for the first time in his Bill Self, the head coach of the Jayhawks said, you might not see the kid again here. 54-40, Durant had 25 points at the half, and then this happened. He went down in pain, a twisted ankle. He wouldn't return, but the whole game changed when he went out. Texas scored 12 baskets in a row in the first half, and in the second half, Kansas seemed to do that every time down. A 24-7 run. Abrams hits a three late, Texas back within two. And then Mason from the corner. Off the iron, DJ Augustine with a look to tie it, and it gets blocked by Julian Wright. Kansas and Bill Self, they win their fifth Big 12 regular season conference title. Look at what happened to Durant, who again came back and feels as if he's going to be okay. But 25 points in the first half and only seven in the second half. 54 points in the first half, 32 points for Texas in the second half. So congratulations to Kansas, UCLA, and Washington. This is the number two seed in the country. And Washington trying to knock them off. Ryan Appleby off the screen, buries a three. Washington, what a fast start up, 9-0. Lorenzo Mata then doing some work, one-on-one -on -one down low with the lefty hook. Later in the half, Washington is up 23-20. Pondexter, John Brockman is there to clean it all up. It's 25-20 at the half, they were up by 11-31-20. 37-30 now, and Justin Denton floats one in. Look at what Washington is doing to UCLA, 45 32 is the score there. Meantime, Bo Ryan and Wisconsin hosting Michigan State. These two teams, arguably as tough on defense as you'll find in the country. Look at through Neitzel, deep two. Spartans go up 50-49. Under 10 to play, same score. It's nearly impossible to win at Wisconsin. Cameron Taylor drains a three. Wisconsin wins it. Big game, 52 250. Now the ACC. Virginia goes down today. They had their doubters. Duke has deficiencies. Carolina's got cracks. Might it be that Maryland is the most likely team from the ACC that might win an NCAA tournament? Who would have thought that about a month ago? Our game day crew has a preview of the Maryland NC State game. Bradley Center already rocking in anticipation. Golden Eagles of Marquette spoiling Pittsburgh's opportunity to get a share of the Big East title. Going to honor the 1977 National Championship team here at Marquette tonight and then try to play spoiler a little bit later on. I don't know if you can even characterize Maryland as a spoiler anymore. The Terrapins, you take on North Carolina State in just a bit, playing as well as anyone in the country. Yeah, they've been absolutely terrific in large part because of their freshman and park guard, Revis Vasquez at Duke. Cameron Indoor Stadium, a freshman, 13 points, 12 rebounds bounce and nine assists. He's doing an excellent job of getting into the middle, finding James Gist, Akinia Beckway down low, and Mike Jones out on the perimeter. He's taking care of the basketball, and he's doing a terrific job at the point guard position. Boy, Vasquez really gives them energy, but the guy I think that's really propelled them forward has been DJ Strawberry. He struggled a little bit in January, but in February, he was magnificent. Over the last six games, averaging over 17 points per game, five rebounds, 60% from the field. He shot out of there like a cannon to get to the other end. But when we look at the charts right now, everything has been upbeat since they've had that losing streak. Now with the five-game, six-game winning streak, their points are up to 81. Their field goal shooting the threes is up to almost 44. But look at their defense. And the reason why their defense is that good is because they're pressing, going full court, wearing you down. And that defensive pressure is part of the reason why they're 6-0. We'll have more at halftime on our game tonight, Pittsburgh and Marquette. And, of course, we'll get you ready at 8 o'clock Eastern time, college game day, driven by State Farm. Hi, right, Reese. Thank you very much. So the door is open for a lot of teams because Virginia went down to Wake Forest today. Jamie Skeen hits the three. And it's Wake 68-64. Less than three minutes to go. They're up by two. L.D. Williams. His jumper goes. Wake's up four. And Boston College, North Carolina, Virginia Tech. All figure now. This is beautiful. We could win at least a share of the ACC regular season title by winning tomorrow. If they all lose, they all lose. Maryland's got a chance. Florida State, 98-90 over Miami. Al Thornton goes for 45 points in that one. A career high. All right, Duke, by the way, the women unbeaten at 30-0. They're ahead of NC State, 54-49. They're eight minutes to go. We'll check this again at the half. Mr. Strawberry, the son of Daryl, DJ, has become a man. He leads the team in both points and steals. The game is coming up next.
ESPN's College Basketball, presented by KFC and the new Buffalo Snacker. Ignition sequence start. Four, three, two, one. Don't miss Dick's Sporting Goods golf Golfathon, our biggest golf sale of the year. Check out new technology, like the Nike Sumo Squares. The new TaylorMade Burner. And Callaway X20 Irons. Plus, you'll save on drivers. A great selection of irons. And golf balls like the Nike NDX Turbo. And Schlesinger Raw. All at Dick's Golfathon going on now. <laughs> Got an MLB mindset? You'll need it. The number one baseball game is back. MLB 07, the show. Rated E for everyone. Available on PlayStation 2 and PlayStation Portable. When it comes to banking, satisfaction means different things to different people. Someone knowing my name is no small thing. Having a dedicated fraud specialist if my identity is stolen is reassuring. Being able to talk to a person 24-7 fits my schedule. Not needing direct deposit with my free checking? is truly free checking. Customers come first at Wachovia. That's why we've been rated number one in customer satisfaction for the sixth straight year. Are you with Wachovia? If you could travel like this, for the same price as this, <laughs> why wouldn't you? It's the same with auto insurance. With discounts up to 40%, it's possible to get the personal service of a State Farm agent for the same or less than those other guys. Call an agent 24-7 or visit statefarm.com. My hometown has big buildings and beautiful lakes. People from around the world come to visit. We build cool new airplanes. And rockets to outer space. People here keep our country safe. They make monsters that battle each other. They cure people of all kinds of bad stuff. In a magic land full of beautiful princesses. This isn't the work of a child's imagination. This is Orlando, Florida. And while fantasy worlds may have put us on the map, the high-tech business of the real world also comes to life here. We're home to UCF, the nation's seventh largest university, and its new medical college, a top research park. Florida Hospital, one of the nation's largest healthcare systems, and more. So these kids can imagine futures as doctors, scientists, and ballerinas without ever having to leave their hometown. Orlando, Florida, putting imagination to work. If these walls could talk, they'd speak of football in its purest form, the kind played by kids in backyards. Only these kids never grew up. If these walls could talk, they'd say you have to see it to believe it. Russell Athletic ESPN Arena Football begins Sunday at 12.30 on ABC. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Final appearance for seniors like Akene Abekwe. Over 700 rebounds, 1,000 points, and 200 blocks. Mike Jones, another 1,000-point scorer. The senior guard making his final appearance at Comcast Center. And DJ Strawberry, who's had a sensational year with his dad, Darrell, looking out, and the rest of his family. Those three among six seniors playing their final game today as the Terrapins take on the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Our action today in the ACC College Basketball presented by KFC and it's the Maryland Terrapins against the Wolfpack of North Carolina State for the 141st time between these longtime Atlantic Coast Conference rivals. Take a look at the standings. Virginia has lost to Wake Forest today. Maryland can move into the number four spot, which would be big with the ACC tournament in Tampa coming up next Thursday. North Carolina State also coming off a win earlier this week over Wake. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Jimmy Dykes. It's been a great week, partner, for Maryland. They beat North Carolina and Duke. Problem is...
great week. They beat North Carolina and Duke. Yeah, that is. They got to put that behind them and yeah. focus on what's ahead of them right now. Think about Maryland, Brad. No one has improved their RPI more over the last two weeks. This is a hot club, not only in ACC, but across the country right now. You don't want to be stung today if you're Maryland on senior day with a lot of distractions. That's right. Take a look at the star watch. We've got a young guy and an old guy. A freshman who might be freshman of the year in Brandon Costner and DJ Strawberry having a sensational campaign in his final season at College Park. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We'll check the starting lineups in a minute. We're ready to go. Tom Eads, Sean Hull, Sam Croft, our officials. Five seniors starting for Maryland because it is senior day. So a couple of guys like Parrish Brown who tracks it down in the backcourt and Will Bowers who's in the lineup normally would not be Maryland starters. But they get the nod today. Six seniors in all on this Maryland club. And it's Strawberry with a little stutter step and he walked with it. That's the opening turnover of the ball game on DJ Strawberry. And sometimes, Jimmy, we've seen this a lot this week. You get those... You get those senior day jitters. You got the whole family here. You got the jersey that's framed. Sure. Your coach gives you a hug. Mom and dad are here. The crowd's going crazy. And you got a little bit of the yips early in the ball game. And Maryland has been so good in the six game stretch of playing quick and not turning it over. Strawberry had a too quick turnover in the first possession. Here's NC State coming off a win 73 66 over Wake Forest. Sydney Lowe's club 5 and 10 on the ACC campaign, 15 and 13 overall. Maryland has won six straight. McCauley with a fadeaway. A rebound will come off to Bowers, and he'll clear it to Parrish. And a pull-up jumper by Parrish Brown is off the mark as he wanted to get in the score column before he goes back to the bench. NC State only getting eight offensive rebounds a game. That's the last in ACC. They must be really good on their first shot attempt in this ball game. Brandon Costner, who's had such a sensational year. The freshman who played actually in five games a year ago, but he's certainly got to be one of the leading contenders for ACC Freshman of the Year, and he's got the opening two of the ball game. You know what he does really well? He does not get sped up by defense. As a young guy, he plays to the tempo he wants to play when he gets those paws on that basketball. Maryland still looking for its opening points. And they might get it here as Jones goes up and under, and it goes in. Brad, that's what he's been doing over the last six ball games, doing more than just a three-point shooter. Think about this. He had 14 points against Carolina from the two-point territory. He had 10 points against Duke from the two-point territory. That's good balance for Mike Jones. 25 at all to lead all scorers in that Duke game, the win over the Blue Devils that helped them sweep Duke this year. Fells. Packs it down low. They kick it back outside. Costner will try a three. And the rebound comes off to Maryland. Again, no red jerseys headed to the offensive glass. Jones for three. And last touched and out of bounds. It'll be NC State ball as we take a look at Sidney Lowe's starting lineup. The same group that we've seen much of the year because of the lack of depth. If you look at the backcourt, it's Fells, Grant, and Atzer is the guy that runs the show. And then it's Costner and McCauley up front. That's also their, their backup lineup, their finish the game lineup, <laughs> and their scout team lineup. That's right. All in one package. There's not a lot of bench for North Carolina State. Grants missed the jumper. Rebound again. Maryland clears the glass ahead. A dangerous pass stolen away. As the Terrapins turn it over again, Costner down low, and he's got an easy deuce in transition. So that immediately, that turnover led to points going Brandon the other way. Costner. Brad Maryland does not have their normal five, five starters on the floor to start this game because of senior day. They are not in rhythm. Vasquez and guys getting ready to check in will get this club back in to their six-game winning streak rhythm. Strawberry had an open look and missed it. That's her with a rebound. They're waiting, waiting to bring in James Gist and Grievous Vasquez. And as Jimmy said, there hasn't been a stoppage in play. So those two guys are languishing in front of the scoreboard or the score scores table is that sewer scores on a great cut to the basket and a four point lead what a beautiful cut by answer to cut all the way to the rim stuck his head underneath the net and didn't give up on the pass for some reason the scoreboard has five to two it's six to two unless i don't know that it's a two-point field goal every time you score inside and here's jones Scoring and one. Excuse me, it's a Beckway that scores, and he'll have a chance from the free throw line. Here's the starting lineup. Strawberry Jones, Perry Brown starting in the backcourt, the senior. Bowers also starting as a senior, not normally a starter. And a Beckway, the other one. And those two guys go to the bench now. As Gist 
checks in, and so does Grievous Vasquez. So now the starting five for Maryland for the majority of the year is in there. And a back way at the free throw line, trying to cap the three-point play and doesn't. Two things Maryland wants to accomplish in this ball game. First and foremost, win this ball game and stay in the hunt for a number four seed maybe in the ACC tournament. To top it all off, it's nice to start all five seniors in your starting lineup, but get them out now and go back to work on winning this game. And a whistle, and I think they're going to call a foul on Costner for an illegal screen, and that'll be his first. So this gives Maryland an opportunity to take the lead for the first time. That is Costner's second foul, and he's going to have to sit. Club that doesn't have depth has their leading score and rebounder sitting on the wood four minutes into this ball game. Not a good sign. No. The pass down low by Vasquez knocked out of bounds. Justin Clark has come in for Costner, who got the early two fouls in the first four minutes of the ball game. Gist underneath. And he gives Maryland its first lead. There's the pressure of Maryland trying to speed the game up. They want the tempo going back and forth, horse race, thoroughbred type stuff. Now they've got it with the turnover, and Jones with a finger roll comes up short. They had an opportunity with numbers. They had a three on two there, and Jones came up short. Brad, we've seen NC State, when the ball is not in the hands of Ingen Atzer, they can be turnover happy. they got to be strong with that basketball today and stay, stay spread, keep the white jerseys off of them. McCauley with that left hand, that's his move. Ben McCauley, averaging 15 a game. He averaged two points a game last year. He's the best scoring increase in the ACC. 13 points better than a season ago. Vasquez of Beckway, outside jumper. And Fells with a rebound. When you see NC State, Fells had an opportunity to maybe push it with even numbers, but he backs the thing out. That tells you North Carolina State wanted to dictate the tempo. Uh-oh, strawberry. And that one's going to get flushed. Great play defensively and then took it the distance himself. Yeah, because he ripped the guy in Ingen Atzer that's an awfully good, efficient passer. He just baited him into it with his eyes. Down on the low block again, it's McCauley now on the other side. Let's see where he goes with this one. Up and under with the left hand. Nice move, just didn't finish. A back way with a rebound. And Maryland doesn't have to double down on McCauley early. That's important because McCauley can really beat you as a passer. Here's Gist working against McCauley. Double team. Came up short. Jones was there, and he's fouled by Courtney Fells. So we've got a timeout. E.J. Strawberry playing in his final game at Comcast Center. Nice steal. Slam on the other end. Tie game. Hey. New KFC Variety Big Box. A lot of stuff. Gonna eat that drumstick? Uh, yeah, it's my favorite. Crispy strip? My other favorite. Popcorn chicken? Favorite. Mass favorite. Coles favorite. Biscuit. Favorite. Do you have a least favorite favorite? I'm gonna eat now. Now get all your favorites in one box. Introducing the new Variety Big Box from KFC. Popcorn chicken, a crispy strip, a drumstick, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, a biscuit, and a large drink. Fill up on all your favorites at KFC. Paul. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey. Here for your mortgage. Actually, I'm using Lending Tree instead. Oh, you are? Why? Well, they have banks competing, so their rates beat the national average. We've been your bank for years. You can't just walk away. Oh, I'm not. Since your bank is part of the Lending Tree network, you can compete over me, too. What? And I want you to know, I'll be pulling for you. Good luck, buddy. Today, interest rates are close to historic lows. Refinance now and lower your monthly payments at Lending Tree. Everybody ready for this tournament? Oh, that's not good. I'm State Farm agent Al Sicard, and this is a true story. They took everything, even the kids' uniforms. Coach had to stay with the truck. Al took them over to the mall. He got them new uniforms. He got them to the game just in time. But our coach didn't make it. So I grabbed the clipboard, and I coached. And they ended up winning the whole thing. He got them to play zone. I, I can't get them to play zone. Great service and great rates. It's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there! All right, reliability. Well, looks like a package is heading south on 995. It was shipped yesterday, it weighs 11 pounds, and it should arrive by 8.30 a.m. It's early. So how'd I know all that? Well, this is a smart label, and it knows everything about your package. And it's only from UPS. It's not reliability, 
the GPS reliability. Oh, sorted in Philly. Right back into State Maryland in one second. Want to update you on the UCLA game. They were getting hammered when your game started. They're not getting hammered anymore. Part of a 16-2 run as Josh Ship finishes that off. They are now trailing by only four, 52-48 with three minutes left to go in that game. Meantime, the unbeaten number one team in women's basketball in trouble. Duke at 30-0, leading NC State by only one. Brad? All right, Carl, keep us posted here. We got a tie game early. As Maryland started slow, with a normal lineup, they may have not started quite as slowly as they did. But with senior day and a couple of guys that aren't normally out there, NC State jumped out to a four-point lead. Now we're tied. Mike Jones trying to break the tie. And off the mark, he's an 80% free throw shooter. Mike is senior of the Dorchester, Massachusetts. Wearing number 23. First guy that actually has worn that number since Stevie Francis did back in the day. Look at that UCLA score and the importance of that score, in my opinion. UCLA in the conversation right now for the number one overall number one seed. That's what they're trying to hold on to, that Pac-10 matchup. And the whistle and a foul on Maryland in that backcourt pressure. And it's on the back way. NC State already with three turnovers, Brad, and Maryland has converted two of those into points. They cannot be sloppy and loose with that basketball today on the home floor of Maryland. And back in the hands of Atsur, as Jimmy says, that's where they want it to set the play. He's the guy that runs the show at the point, missed 12 games with that bad hamstring, and that really hurt him because they didn't have a lot of depth, and they had other guys then playing out of position with Atsur out to the injury. Offensively, NC State is great at cutting to the rim. Abekwe is going to make a mistake as a defender. Hold it right here, guys. He's got to come this direction with Atzer as a help defender. Watch him give up on Atzer. Atzer slips to the rim. Boom. Easy two points. That's a mistake by Abekwe. It was a great screen. He's got to be the help guy. They were trying to get a screen set by Grant that time, and he comes up with the offensive foul. So it goes back to Maryland's favor, and out of blocking foul on Justin Clark, and Clark's in there because Costner's in foul trouble. So Sidney Lowe in his first year. The former All-ACC performer at North Carolina State. There's Sid. He's done a good job this year in his first season. And Raleigh, he's got some early foul trouble and not a very deep bench. Underneath, Strawberries just kind of muscles one up there. He's a blender for Gary Williams. Assists, steals, rebounds, a two-point guy, a three-point shot if he has to, an extra ball handler. Very good senior year out of Strawberry. Maryland opens up a three-point lead. Fells, three on the way. And I tell you what, NC State without Costner is a whole different looking group offensively. College hoops on ESPN tonight. Pitt Panthers taking on the Marquette. Golden Eagles at Saturday primetime presented by DirecTV, 9 o'clock tonight. Also available in high definition on ESPN HD. All gets underway with game day guys at 8 o'clock tonight. They've been there all day. The crowd is ready for that one. We saw Marquette a week ago lose on the road at Notre Dame. And now they've got a big outing tonight with the primetime gang there. Atsu on the outside. Rebound gist way up there for it. And again, the team in red, they must make the majority of their first shots. They're not going to get second shots. Vasquez, I don't know if he was throwing that up there hoping it was going to be an assist from the weak side or if he actually thought that was a shot. <laughs> and he might be asked that by some of his teammates and his coach before it's all over. That's a great story today. 45 in red, Justin Clark. He had played four games total going into their senior day last week and had not scored a single point. He starts on senior day for NC State, plays 22 minutes, gets six points and four assists. Yep. State with an opportunity again now to close the gap a little bit. There is set play offense. Sidney Lowe with all those years in the NBA, this is what he knows. There's a good move by McCauley up and under. But the rebound off to Gist. And the lob underneath. And rejected underneath. Osby went up strong, but the defense went up stronger. Good runs and, and, and good hands by Osby, running full speed as a 6'5 power guy. That's her, the pick and roll, and they get it to Grant in the corner. 
And he drives into traffic and scores. And he makes the right decision, Brad. He's not a great three-point shooter. He turned down a pretty good three-point look from the corner to get himself a really good two-point shot. Vasquez on the inside. The kick out. Strawberry, a triple. Got it. DJ Strawberry's got seven early. He goes out to four. And a whistle and a foul with a timeout coming. 11-28 remaining first half. Maryland's opened up a four-point cushion. Disciplined investing. It isn't about star fund managers. At zero price, it's about experienced investment teams that stay the course. For each one, five, and 10 year period, 70% of our mutual funds beat their Lipper average. Low cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. Great Scott! I forgot to tell Marty when he gets back to the future, he needs to get direct TV HD. I already have all the best channels, and soon they'll have three times more HD capacity than cable. Impossible? <laughs> That's what they said about my flux capacitor! For a future of 150 HD channels, get direct TV. Solutions from Siemens can be found everywhere by helping to make water more pure, buildings more efficient, facilities more modern, communications better integrated, and energy more reliable. We're turning dreams into reality. This is the all new CRV, redesigned with a whole new viewpoint on styling and engineering. This is the Ridgeline, the first truck with a lockable in bed trunk. The Pilot, it seats eight and has 244 horsepower. And the Element, which can reconfigure itself in 64 different ways. Honda, five-star crash test safety rating on every truck we make. The plane came into the house like a missile. Their life as they knew it was completely gone. From the depths of disaster, one family rises again. An all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Sunday, 8, 7 Central, only on ABC. Championship week well underway. Our game well underway. Maryland leading North Carolina State by four. And we've got so much basketball for you on ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN Classic. The game's all available on ESPN 360. 34 championships, 89 men's and women's games over the course of the next week plus. Personally, this is my favorite week of the year because you see teams like at Georgia State last night throwing in from 30 feet, keep yep. their hopes alive. That's when those magical plays are made is over the next seven days. I'm sure Georgia State's magical run might have come to an end against Virginia Commonwealth this afternoon. That game should be over by now, but that was some kind of finish for the kids from Atlanta. Walking violation on McCauley. That is the fifth Maryland turnover. Gary Williams, boy, he was all business when we talked to him Ooh. before the game. He said, this, this is a very important game, and when you really start looking at it a little bit more closely, it's not because it's NC State. It's because, as Jimmy said, you get that number four spot in the ACC tournament. That helps you big time. And Maryland has come out of nowhere. Remember, they started 2-5 and five in conference play, and now they've won six straight to be the hottest team in the league, and they want to keep that hotness going. When you look at the teams above them right now, Virginia, Duke, North Carolina with question marks. I'm not so sure Maryland going into Tampa next week might not be the favorite in a lot of people's eyes. James Giss picks up the foul, and it's a shooting violation. So Fells is going to go to the stripe. Wait for James speed to uh, Virginia today. That's, that's something. Third. Tell you what, that's the other thing that senior day can do for you on the positive side, like Wake Forest is giving you that extra push that you maybe haven't had all year. Speaking of the six-game push that Maryland's been on, what have they done, Brad? 50% from the field in their shooting. They're even on the boards, which is not great, but normally they've been out-rebounded. And only 13 turnovers a game out of Maryland in that six-game stretch. And Gary Williams 
say continue to play quick and not turn it over will carry us deep into March. Fells knocks down both free throws to cut the lead down to four. And we're almost at the midway point of the first half. Brad Nussler, Jimmy Dykes, and our ABC crew at Comcast Center here. College Park, Maryland, where the Terrapins are riding the wave of that six-game winning streak, looking for their 24th win of the year on Seniors Day. Nice follow by James Gist. He just picked up the foul on the other end and goes up, gives his team the six-point lead again at the midway point of the first half. You and I were here back about November the 9th, and one of the questions Gary Williams had about his ball club, how consistent would James Gist be this year as a junior? He has answered that consistency question. There's only been a handful of teams that have started two and five in conference play and ended up going to the NCAA tournament. Maryland did it their championship year of all places. They started two and five. How about Georgia Tech? They started two and six, and they beat Carolina the other day, and I think that got them into the tournament. They could use one more, though. And there's one more on the inside from the big guy, Bambale Osby. Maryland opens up an eight-point advantage with 9.36 remaining first half. ESPN, baby. <laughs> this is the new shrink ray from Ratchet and Clank for PlayStation Portable. And we're going to shrink our friend Larry so he can sneak into the girls' tent while they're changing. Wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> is that an owl? Yeah. The Shrink Ray. All new weapons, all new levels. Ratchet and Clank size matters. Rated everyone 10 and up. PSP. Sidney Lowe, his team on the road, had a lead early, now trailing by eight. Brad, the NCAA tournament selection comes out next Sunday. There are 65 seats on that NCAA <laughs> jet. That's how I look at things. The ACC right now, I think they've got seven teams that would have a seat on that plane if it started today. Carolina's up there in first class. Virginia, although they lost today in Maryland, are in business class. Virginia Tech, Duke, and Boston College, solid on the plane. Pretty good coach seats. Last row, middle seat, Georgia Tech with that win on Thursday night. They are on the plane right now. If they lose tomorrow, they got to step back off the plane and try to play their way back onto the plane, in my opinion. So you got Clemson and Florida State on standby at the gate and probably not going to get their bags, right? They're not even on the standby. They're not even standby. They're, they're hung up in the security line. <laughs> They've got liquids in their bags and they're having to check them right now. They need more, a lot of help. They have more than three ounces in their bags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hear you. A nice feed in. inside of Costner. That's going to be goaltending. They do such a great job, NC State, of cutting all the way to the rim. They don't give up on their cuts when they get a couple of strides away from the 10. They continue to stick their head underneath the net. If Maryland doesn't cover them to that point, it's another layup. Had Jay Billis with me the other night instead of you. He loves your plane. He waits for that every <laughs> broadcast. Down underneath, up and under by Gist. Nice strong move by James Gist, and he's got six. From Eric Hayes. Good balance in that Maryland offense right now out of transition. Pounding at the low block, and they got some guys that can stroke it from three in Jones. And again, one shot and done for NC State. They just do not get second opportunities over a 40-minute game. On a drive, Jones, offensive foul. Mike Jones picks up the foul. Tomorrow on ABC, Kobe Bryant, the Lakers. Head to Phoenix, he'll take on Steve Nash and the Suns. ABC's NBA Sunday coverage starts at 3 Eastern right here on ABC. That ought to be a good one. They'll be up and down the floor. Pretty good coming back party for Shaq the other night, wasn't it, too? I huh? guess. Proving that he's still the man. Or the Shaq daddy, or the diesel, or one of those things. Warner gets it down to Costner. Costner never playing with two fouls that he got in the first about three minutes of the ballgame. CNC State beat that press, then back it out and get into their set plays. Trying to shorten the length of the game. The fewer number of possessions favors the team in red. Costner setting those picks has got to be careful. He doesn't pick up another offensive foul. He's well aware of that, I'm sure. Four shot on the inside by Horner. Quick move by Strawberry to the baseline. They cut him off there. 7.35 to play in the half. And it's Maryland by eight. 
See Vasquez handling that ball. He's averaged eight assists over the last five games. He can shoot pretty well, too, but he missed that three. Gavin Grant bringing it the other way. Be careful. A little bit out of control. He took that thing from one post to the other. Missed it, but he got help from Horner on the inside. One of the tougher plays you and I have seen out of Horner all year because a lot of times he checks in a little timid as a freshman. A little toughness about him with that traffic rebound. He's learning. Osby, he goes down, no traveling violation. And the ball kicked out to Strawberry. Ball never changed possession, so the shot clock continues to run down to 12. It's Hayes with a teardrop. Eric Hayes. Tell you what, these two freshman point guards, Vasquez and Hayes, I think they're both going to be special before their time is done. NC State tried to cup the point guard out top. The cup got separation, and Hayes just slipped right through it and pulled up and avoided the charge. Beautiful play out of the point guard. Water out on top. Here's Atsuer trying to pack it into Costner. Osby on his hip. Costner takes him to the baseline and rejected by Gist. Coming the other way behind the back. And Vasquez threw it away. Bad decision by Vasquez because all he had to do was throw it up to the rim and make the easy, easy play. James Gist, almost 150 blocks in his career, and he went airborne for that one. Terps by eight. Got a lot of sport. Y'all ready to play? I've never even seen this thing before. Did you see how fast I did that? Like when things are real easy? I'm like the king of that thing. You're gonna love what we've done to retirement planning. It's called My Plan from Fidelity. Retirement planning made easy. Smart move. I used to think it didn't matter what deodorant I chose. Dumb. This test shows that Old Spice is the right choice. Take the Old Spice challenge. I did. travel like this for the same price as this why wouldn't you it's the same with auto insurance with discounts up to 40 percent it's possible to get the personal service of a state farm agent for the same or less than those other guys call an agent 24 7 or visit statefarm.com they pick up touchdowns pick up the bucks and pick up their teams. Enterprise salutes NCAA student athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. ABC Sunday. I always get texts on our anniversary. Just try not to wake me. Is the night that stays with you. Is that a threat? You think it's a threat? All week long. I'll take you to dinner. My treat. It would be your treat. I'm a hot date. All new episodes of Desperate Housewives and Brothers and Sisters. <laughs> Sunday starting at 9, 8 central after an all new Extreme Makeover Home Edition only on ABC. UCLA had already clinched the Pac-10 title, dealing with Washington today on the road. Been a seesaw battle, 52-51, and the further dependence on freshman Spencer Hawes with the put back, and Washington knocks off the Bruins, 61-51. Here's a big one. The unbeaten Duke Blue Devil women's basketball team now once beaten. The year of Kay Yao as NC State beats them 70 to 65. Right? Wow. One of those kind of days, Carl. Upset day, maybe. Maybe all the way around. Tickets already punched, just two, the Big South and the Ivy. And the Ivy is the regular season champions. Winthrop's already won the Big South. Jimmy and I are heading down to Colonial in Richmond when we leave here. Costner has got a chance for a three-point play. Brad, when you see Winthrop pop up in that bracket on Sunday, I'm not so sure you don't take them at least one game. That's a team that has had great losses this year. 27-28 wins. And think about this, they won at Missouri State, which is a very difficult place to go in and win against a team that has already beaten Wisconsin this year. Winthrop can play with anyone in the country on a neutral floor. Brandon Costner 
play with anybody in the ACC. He's got nine points in playing with foul trouble, but he cuts the Maryland lead down to four. Osby comes back in. You hear the chance of boom in the background. That's his nickname. The student body is well aware of that every time he takes the floor. Duke women, UCLA men both lose today. Those are both number one overall, number one seeds that took a hit on their resume this afternoon. Kansas avoided taking a hit on theirs by four, probably because Kevin Durant rolled his ankle after a remarkable first half he had. 25 points, but not much in the second half as Kansas beat Texas by four. Wake Forest has beaten Virginia today. That's the big news in the ACC. There's the big guy on campus around here. Akenea Beckway, the senior out of Carson, California. He's got over 1,000 points, over 700 rebounds, and over 200 blocks in his career. Not too many players in ACC history can match those marks. Costner keeps it alive. Here's Horner, wide open three. And he's a pretty good shooter. That's his 20th three-pointer of the year. Answer new has it always coming to answer. Answer new. As soon as I get my paws on it, boom, I'm going right to the corner. Answer a great example of a point guard that plays the game one pass ahead of everybody else on the floor. Strawberry pull-up jumper up short. And it's Costner with a board and a chance for the Wolfpack to draw to within two as we're under five minutes in the first half. Answer takes about eight seconds to advance it across the timeline. That happens over 30 possessions. It takes about four or five minutes off of a game. And Grant had a great leap, kind of a jump stop and then a leap, but he ended up on the other side of the basket and didn't have enough space to make that reverse shot. Back comes Maryland. Strawberry has it rejected underneath. I'm not sure if it was Warner or Costner with the block. Either way, Costner is going to get credit for it. game is has no rhythm it's played on it three beats then two beats then four beats that favors NC State they want an unrhythm game where Maryland wants to get this thing going 78 RPMs. there you get that music career yours coming back to the forefront <laughs> Porter missed the three <laughs> if I could have sung at 78 RPMs I wouldn't be doing this <laughs> and there's a pile underneath as a Beckway is gonna go to the free throw line when we come back he got to the rack the last time, though, on the follow on the miss by Strawberry. The Verizon Wireless Broadband Access Card transforms any time into productive time. So when you're on the go, so is the network. It's 100% business and 0% office. Connect to email, downloads, and browse the internet while working on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. To learn more, visit our website or a store near you. I can give you what you the Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Great computing starts with Intel inside. Hey, new KFC variety big box. A lot of stuff. You gonna eat that drumstick? Uh, yeah, it's my favorite. Crispy strip? My other favorite. Popcorn chicken? Favorite. Mass favorite. Cold favorite. 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 Do you have a least favorite favorite? I'm gonna eat now. Now get all your favorites in one box. Introducing the new variety big box from KFC. Popcorn chicken, a crispy strip, a drumstick, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, a biscuit, and a large drink. Fill up on all your favorites at KFC. At UBS, financial solutions come from listening very carefully to what our clients say, but even more carefully to what they don't say. You could call it the commitment to understand. We just call it you and us. You and us, UBS. They pick up their games pick up their teams and pick up the pace. Enterprise salutes NCAA student athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. On the NBA hardwood, he had mad skills. But on the dance floor, does Clyde Drexler have game? Left, 
back. I already stepped place. on her foot. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars returns live Monday, March 19th, 8, 7 central, only on ABC. I'm Carl Ravitz, the Halftime Report, presented by UBS. More on Kevin Durant, his injury, and Texas' loss to Kansas. Also ahead of us, the Bruins dealing with a rough road trip. We'll get the UCLA story, the game day crew, their perspective on the day, and the year of the Yao. How K Yao's NC State women knocked Duke from the ranks of the unbeaten. All right, Carl, we'll see you in about three minutes, 41 seconds. Kenna Ebekwe was fouled before the timeout. He'll go to the free throw line. 0 for 1 there today. And about 66% on the season. Akene, who actually entered and then withdrew from the NBA draft a year ago. His brother plays at Long Beach State. His uh, brother was here as part of the senior festivities with his mom and dad. He rips them both. There's the backwards. His brother looks like he could play Yes, he does. Saw him and said hello to him before the game, and he has put together. I remember playing at Arkansas for Eddie Sutton when Eddie Sutton tried to talk me into having a senior day my junior year. <laughs> That's just not right. I didn't go for it, that though. <laughs> I stuck around for another six that appearances. A, that a boy. Not getting rid of me that quick, Coach. Fells. Missed the outside jumper, and the rebound comes off to Jones. Mike looking to run. Vasquez cross courts it, and now both the freshman guards are out there together. Hayes and Vasquez. Brad, NC State can't get into a running game with anyone. That's another reason why they don't send guys to the offensive glass. They're more concerned about getting their defense set and keeping it a half-court game. Boy, Osby, nice move. He's got four off the bench. He really uses his shoulders well to clear out space. He can go either direction off of those big shoulder pads that he's got on. Gets a lot done for an undersized inside guy. Maryland again matches its biggest lead with 240 remaining in the half and a traveling violation on McCauley. Well, it's an ESPN Full Circle special event. NASCAR Bush Series rolls into Mexico City tomorrow. Expanded coverage across the ESPN networks. Catch the primary telecast on ESPN2. Get the inside scoop on ESPN Deportes. It's also simulcast in Spanish. Big day. They're going to have about 200,000 racing fans at that NASCAR event coming up tomorrow. It's one of those courses that it's just not four left turns in no, a row. I got like eight turns or something, don't they? Jones knocks down a three. Can you have eight turns or is that too many? You can, no, sir, okay. you can. Boy, Jones still, that's his reference point in his game is that outside stroke. Now, he's doing a lot more stuff in the two-point territory, but still, that's where he's most dangerous. You've got to stay attached to Mike Jones. My brother's watching this game, and he's a huge NASCAR guy, and he's going, I can't believe my little brother doesn't know if you're going to have eight turns in a NASCAR event. I'm sorry, Bill. You're watching. Grant goes on the inside. Shot blocks. And back comes Maryland with a double-digit lead. Jones misses this one. And a whistle and a foul on the rebound. Good job by Mike Jones, the last possession, to trust the offense. Look at him down here in this corner. He's just going to hang in that corner. The ball came to the middle of the floor, but he stayed true to his offense and said, just bring me the basketball. But again, NC State, you've got to stay attached to this guy. I still think you make him dribble into his shots. Mike's number two all-time at three-point shooting in Maryland with 192 on his career, 70 this season so far. Maryland has blocked floor, uh, four shots, including the last trip down for NC State. Wolf back trying to get back into a single-digit deficit situation with just under a minute and a half to go. Here's a three-pointer in route. Fells can't get it to drop. Osby with a rebound. Hayes on the run. And Jones, and it's stripped by Atsur. And it is going to be out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Jones. Boy, good defensive hands by Atsur, a kid that I think will have a really good future as a European pro, Lincoln Atsur. Doesn't have jets, but he's awfully smart. He's quicker than his legs would allow him to play because he's such a quick-thinking guy. I would think the folks in Turkey would want him on a team over there. That's where he's from, Istanbul. And boy, he's been quite a player. We've seen NC State play without him and with him, and there's no comparison. Yep. And he was averaging 17 before that hamstring injury that you and I saw against Michigan. What a move. Nice move by McCauley and Bowers. 
You know what I love about Ben McCauley for NC State, who just scored? He arrives in the gym in a bad mood. <laughs> Doesn't matter what day it is, he comes in a bad mood, and he gets a lot done with great footwork. He doesn't start playing too fast when he touches that basketball, but his attitude and his toughness, we saw what he did against Tyler Hansbro early this year when they knocked off NC uh, Tar Heels. And it's that attitude McCauley brings that's so important to this ball club. And he's shooting 63% from the floor over the course of the last nine games. Got his own miss. He knew that free throw wasn't coming in. That to her for three. Boy, there's a big possession for North Carolina State right there, and they take that trade off. McCauley missing the free throw for the three by Atzer any old day. So the bad attitude of McCauley, he was aggravated at his own miss, cleans it up, then he beats you as a passing post. Five points in six seconds. Those are the kind of possessions you like. Hayes penetrates, and he's going to shoot it and score again. Boy, he's had a couple of impressive-looking shots. What I like about he and Vasquez, though, Brad, is they're both averaging right now one assist every six minutes that they're on the floor. That's what allows you to have a six-game winning streak heading into March. And they have good size, too. Yes, Hayes is 6'3", and Vasquez is 6'5". That is a great point. Not a lot of teams have that kind of size at that lead guard. Corner got his man in the air. Three seconds to go in the half. Tipped in by McCauley before the horn sounds. It's that attitude again I'm talking about. That's where he can beat you. He came out mad. He's going to the locker room mad. <laughs> but he cut the lead down to six. Maryland, 35 to 29. So Maryland trying to win their 17th in 19 outings on their home floor. Stay tuned now, UBS Halftime Show, following these messages and a word from our ABC stations. All right. Customer service. Well, there's Sally. She's your new customer, and she worries. But if you ship her order with UPS, it'll email her. Hey, Sally, I'm leaving the warehouse. Now it notifies her. Hey, Sally, I took a left in Louisville. Now it writes, hey, I'm right downstairs. Look, Sally's smiling. It's not customer service. It's your customer service with UPS. Civic is the perfect size for me. Speaking of perfect, just look at it. There's tons of room inside. It's got all kinds of high-tech stuff. So comfortable. It's so cool. Check it out. Red's my color. Love the red. No, black. Definitely black. You're so predictable. You see that? It took me like three hits. You should have your own TV show. I'm like some sort of handyman genius. Like when things are real easy? You're gonna love what we've done to retirement planning. It's called My Plan from Fidelity. Retirement planning made easy. Smart move. Wednesday. So who is he? Only one way to find out. A face from the past reappears. So I am certain he is not alone. Watch the rifle! Drop it right now! To defend an island secret. Finish it! Kill me. And this survivor's actions will have consequences no one can see coming. Manual override achieved. For mainland communication, enter 3-8. What have you done, John? An all-new episode of Lost, Wednesday at 10, 9 central, only on ABC. Threaten my people with slavery and death. You insult my queen. This is madness! This is Sparta! We will stand and fight and all know that 300 Spartans gave their last breath for freedom. Rated R starts March 9th. A real estate opportunity you've been waiting for is now available at Telosia Creek. Featuring 10-acre estates and a private gated homes-only community located just 40 miles from Tallahassee and only an hour from the beach. All 10-acre estates front on paved roads with underground utilities are now priced from just $89.9, $49.95 down, $8.25 a month. The time to buy is now. You choose when to build or resell in the future. Telosia Creek, a state size home site's exceptional value. Call 1-800-FLA-LAND. Live AccuWeather Doppler Radar, abcactionnews.com.
This is the UBS Halftime Report. Here now, Carl Ravitch. Welcome everyone right to the scores and highlights and the silver lining for having an outstanding regular season is you can stumble along the way and perhaps still afford a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Such is the case for the Bruins of UCLA. They've been outstanding all year. They've already won the Pac-10 title. They fought back valiantly against Washington. They were down by 16, 50 to 43. Great pass there from Collison to Ship who lays it in. He got fouled. They are within five, within four. Now 52-48. Collison bangs in a three. It's a one-point game. But Spencer Hawes, watch him get positioned behind the defense, and he tips it in. Washington knocks off the Bruins 61 to 51. Texas and Kansas, that means the Kevin Durant show. And wow, what a show he put on in the first half. Look at the range from three. He had 25 points at the half. And then he went down here before the 12 minute mark had expired at 11 18 the whole game changed after that he would come back however he was never the same chalmers rush alley up on the baseline a 24 7 run got kansas on top aj abrams fires in a three texas is within two abrams went for 18. two chances to tie first one no good augustine one fake he didn't see julian wright and for the fifth time, Kansas wins the Big 12 regular season title. Look at Kevin Durant, 25 in the first half. He was only three of eight in the second half. And Texas, who scored 54 in the first half, manages only 32 in the second. They lose to Kansas. Now to the Big 10, Spartans, Wisconsin, Bo Ryan's team digging in on their home floor. 49-48, they're up. Drew Neitzel, splash. Expect a big tournament from him. Savvy, good shooter. Spartans up 50 to 49. Cameron Taylor showing they're more than just Orlando Tucker. Tucker himself had a good game. He scored 26. Taylor only 2 of 10, but wow, what a big shot there. 52-50 Wisconsin over Michigan State. And Ohio State, the number one team right now, losing to Michigan, although it is early, 18 to 15. What a huge win that would be for Tommy Amaker's team if they could get it. From the number one men to the number one women. A one possession game. Down goes. Duke, Ashley Key on the fast break with the finish. NC State is within one. 63-62, 65-64. It is Ashley Key money again. Since Kay Yow's returned from cancer, NC State has won 10 of 11. That's Duke's first loss this season. Meantime, back to the ACC. Virginia had a chance to win the ACC outright title regular season they lose to wake 78 72 it opens the doors for boston college north carolina virginia tech meantime florida state gets 45 points from al thornton as florida state beats miami 98 to 90. maryland in a good one they're up 35 29 in beckway part of a balanced attack more coming up This halftime report brought to you by UBS, a global financial firm available in two locations, everywhere and right next to you. You and us. Because financial solutions have no borders or boundaries, UBS operates in only two locations. Everywhere. And right next to you. You and us. UBS. They pick up touchdowns. Pick up the bucks. And pick up their teams. Enterprise salutes NCAA student-athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Do what we pay you to do, fellas. Do what we pay you to do. Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> Run that back. You gotta be kidding me. I told you to watch that guy. Ooh. Wow, that was like the Great Wall of China coming at me. Oh. Now let's take it slow. Oh. 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 I can't believe this. Um, do you have like a backhoe or something to pick up my dignity? <laughs> <laughs> Arena football. Road to glory. Rated E for ages 10 and up. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> I forgot to tell Marty when he gets back to the future, he needs to get direct TV HD. I already have all the best channels, and soon they'll have three times more HD capacity than cable. 
Impossible? That's what they said about my flux capacitor! For a future of 150 HD channels, get DirecTV. I always wanted to be a doctor. But not just to work a certain number of years and then retire. I promised myself that I would get to the point where I would be able to give back and share what I know. And not just have a career, but a real purpose. You once made a promise to yourself about your future. At John Hancock, we have the products you need to help build, protect, and sustain the future you've always wanted. John Hancock, the future is yours. They pick up their games, pick up their teams, and pick up the pace. Enterprise salutes NCAA student-athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. On Monday, March 19th, John Ratzenberger, Shandy Fennessy, 11 celebrities, Clyde Drexler, Paulina Porskova, will test their will. I am Zirin, Joey Fatone, Lisa Gibbons, their endurance, Billy Ray Cyrus, Heather Mills, and their ability, Leela Ali, Apollo Antonono, to shimmy. The Stars live premiere Monday, March 19th, 8, 7 Central, only on ABC. You're watching the UBS Halftime Report. Welcome back. I'm Carl Ravix. The Big East gets the spotlight on primetime on ESPN this evening. Marquette, not since Dwayne Wade wore the Golden Eagles uniform, has had this much success. And Pittsburgh knows the score. With Georgetown's win, it's a must. Reese Davis in the Game Day Gang preview. The Marquette crowd hoping to spoil Pittsburgh's chances of getting a share of the Big East title tonight. Golden Eagles won the first meeting at the Peterson Event Center, and they'll now try to finish the sweep here at home. Glad to have you along with us. Great atmosphere for College Game Day this morning and also tonight. Play a little take your pick in this Pitt-Marquette game tonight. Who do you have? I I've got Pittsburgh. They're 6-1 on the road in the Big East, and they're absolutely terrific in terms of Aaron Gray down low in the paint. I think he's the difference maker when he is aggressive on the offensive end. No one can guard them. They'll have to double team it, then they'll be able to pass out to their shooter for wide open three-point jump shots. I've got the three amigos for Marquette on the perimeter. Matthews, Wesley makes it happen. He can shoot hot. Darrell McNeil can get a goal, but Dominic James, he's the leader. He's got to make things happen with the offense. If they combine for some 55 to 60 points, which they've done in the past, they're going to be tough to beat with a perimeter game. Well, that perimeter game is awfully difficult to deal with, especially with their pressure digger. That's why I've got Marquette in this game, because they can pressure the ball and take you out of your offense. And Marquette is going to run a lot of pick and roll. They're going to try to pull Aaron Gray and Levon Kendall away from the basket, then drive it, kick it out to open shooters, move the ball from side to side. If Marquette Kent can get to the free throw line. They've got a great chance to beat a very good Pittsburgh team that, as Hubert said, is a great road team. And Tom Crean's club, 3-1 and one against Pittsburgh since he has been here. We'll be back 8 o'clock Eastern time with College Game Day. Reese, thank you very much. If Pitt were able to win, it would mark the 13th victory in conference that would tie them for the most they've had in school history. Second half of your games are coming up. This halftime report brought to you by UBS, a global financial firm available in two locations, everywhere and right next to you, you and us. We'll be back with the second half after this message and a word from our ABC stations. What do you get when a financial firm with 70,000 people in 50 countries takes the time to understand your needs as if it's just the two of you. Could it be the most powerful two-person financial firm in the world? You and us, UBS. The Verizon Wireless Broadband Access Card transforms any time into productive time. So when you're on the go, so is the network. It's 100% business and 0% office. Connect to email, downloads, and browse the internet while working on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. To learn more, visit our website or store near you. The plane rammed through our house. It came out of nowhere, like a missile. It's a miracle she survived. Their life as they knew it was completely gone. 
bringing my family home is a total dream. This Sunday, from the depths of disaster, one family rises again. An all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Sunday, 8, 7 Central, only on ABC. I wish I could call all over the place without breaking the bank. This is my business. I wish somebody would get that my phones can't go down. I wish I could deal with a company that I can rely on. Wishing and hoping. Wish you could have better phone service for your business? With Verizon, make unlimited calls to anywhere in the country for just $27 a month, all with 99.99% reliability. I wish I could deal with a company that understands my business. Phone, broadband, TV, wireless. Verizon. A real estate opportunity you've been waiting for is now available at Telosia Creek. Featuring 10-acre estates and a private gated homes-only community. Located just 40 miles from Tallahassee and only an hour from the beach. All 10-acre estates front on paved roads with underground utilities are now priced from just $89.9, $49.95 down, $8.25 a month. The time to buy is now. You choose when to build or resell in the future. Telosia Creek, estate size home sites, exceptional value. Call 1-800-FLA-LAND. Listen up, Tampa Bay. Seeing green means seeing more money from the savings you'll get at Stadium Toyota. That's right. Shop at Stadium Toyota and you'll save thousands on the purchase of your next new vehicle. It gets even greener with everyday low prices and huge discounts off the entire Toyota lineup. Get your price and payment in 15 minutes. Take delivery in just one hour. Plus, when we do business, we'll pay off your trade no matter what you owe. So get more savings and see some green only at Stadium Toyota, Tampa Bay's proven Toyota dealer. A big crash and an insurance mess. A dramatic call for action, Monday at 5. ESPN's College Basketball, presented by KFC. Brought to you by Intel. Great computing starts with Intel Inside. Back at halftime, Comcast Center, our college basketball presented by KFC. And at the break, the Terrapins at home try to go to 17-2. And, and they lead by 6, 35-29 is the halftime score. North Carolina State with a 7-2 run at the end of the half to make it closer, Jimmy. But it's been the senior leadership of Maryland looking for their 24th win. And uh, the guys are playing well on their home floor. You know, the seniors have triggered their six-game winning streak. And the seniors, when they finally got their right rhythm on the floor uh, early in the first half, Guys like Strawberry, who are so versatile, can stick a three, can finish at the rim, can get out in transition. There you see him before the ball game, holding up his jersey. And then Mike Jones, who has become more than just a three-point shooter over the last month. His ability to make some two-point plays, I think, really helps Maryland heading into March. There you see Mike Jones being honored before the ball game. And Kenya Beckway, a great hustle move in transition to clean up a, a miss. Those seniors, along with three others, before the ball game, they did a nice job of putting that distraction behind them once the game got started. Maryland has a lead because of it. Those guys had 21 of their 35 points as you take a look. Good balance across the board by Jones, Strawberry, and Abekwe. NC State, though, with that nice little run, they scored five points in six seconds as they missed a free throw after a score by McCauley, but then the three by Atzer, and that was part of that run. So they open up the second half with an opportunity to draw even closer. Wolfpack needs to have a really good second half offensively. They have not won an ACC game yet this year when the score has been in the 60s on their side. That's the path that they're on. They didn't shoot very well in the first half, sub 40, while Maryland was at a 50%. Neither team's exactly lit it up from the three-point line. Each had two three-pointers in the first half. Vasquez trying to work to the baseline, and Atzer trying to steal it. Still going to be Maryland ball. Vasquez gets too fast for his own britches yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Forgets to take the ball with him. You know, really, the, 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 the flow of the ball game, I think, favored NC State. Both clubs took 30 shots in the first half. That's what the Wolfpack has to have. Strawberry on a feed. Vasquez, Darrell looking on. As his son, leading scorer of the ball game with nine. For Maryland to stay hot in March, Brad, they got to continue to play quick and not turn it over. They had seven turnovers in the first half, which is okay. You don't want to get any higher than that. But they were also plus six rebounds. If they continue to improve rebounding, they're really a good club. That's a great cut to the basket, and he got the feed from McCauley. And normally it's Atsur who's 
picking up the assist that time. He came across the middle and the big guy found him. It was on the rim, wasn't it? It looked like it. Guest, I guess, is going to get credit for that. It looked like it was still hanging around the top of the Basket circle. And I know that Sidney Lowe is agreeing with you right now. He's letting the officials know what he thought of that. Here's Costner for three. Got it. 12 for Costner. Another example of Atzer knowing when the ball was coming to Atzer, he knew as soon as I get it, boom, I'm going right to Costner again. Thinking the game, one pass ahead than everybody else on the floor. Costner at 6'8", the freshman. That's his 50th three-pointer of the year. Mike Jones in double figures now with 10. Costner might take this thing all the way. He will, and a backway says, no, you won't. Costner can't beat you above the rim, the Beckway can. Oh, Strawberry, great drive and a finish and one. Boy, he hung in the air a long time. Dad's going, that's how I taught him. You know, he's playing 32 minutes of ball game in ACC play, which, which leads Maryland, and that's a coach-controlled stat. There I talked about a Beckway can beat you above the rim and Costner can't. But look what Strawberry does. He's a hard right-handed guy, but once he goes to his left, he covers a lot of ground with one bounce. Who knows, maybe it was his mom, Lisa, that taught him that hang move. Maybe it wasn't Daryl. I gotta give mom a little love there on senior day. 43-34, Maryland. Intel Core 2 Duo Processor. Great computing starts with Intel inside. Hot soup, $4. Cold medicine, $11. Blanket, $24. Making it all better. Priceless. With PayPass on your MasterCard, just tap and go. When I was 12, I saw the ocean for the first time. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I decided, one day, I'm going to have a house right on the water. And then, if I have kids, they can live there. And you know, maybe their kids can have the house after them. You once made a promise to yourself about your future. At John Hancock, we have the products you need to help build, protect, and sustain the future you've always wanted. John Hancock, the future is yours. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four-bedroom house and a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. And how do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. Somebody help me. Need to consolidate your debt? Refinance your first mortgage today at LendingTree and we'll guarantee you the lowest price or pay you $500 cash. Call or visit LendingTree. ESPN's College Basketball, presented by KFC and the new Buffalo Snacker. Comcast Center where they fear the Turtles, 17 and 2 this year at home if they win this game. Our Star Watch update, Costner with 12, Strawberry with 11. They're the two leading scorers. Maryland has opened up a nine-point advantage with 17-40 remaining in the ball game. One of our own and one of Maryland's own, Scott Van Pelt. ESPN Sports Center, golf anchor, the whole thing. Scott came over and said hi at half. He's got pretty good seats. He's got pretty good pull. I don't know if that's ESPN pull or Maryland pull. He made no bones about it, did he? He said, we have yeah. a good team right now. And he's talking about his Terps. He said, I can say that with you guys. Yes, yeah. he can. So that's a 10-point advantage. Well, there are some teams today that were not on the airplane, on the standby list that did not help their cause. Michigan State lost, Syracuse lost, Illinois and Oklahoma State. All four of those clubs, in my opinion, really needed to win today. Answer going to the deck, trying to get a timeout call, and did, sliding on his elbows. And the crowd didn't like the call, but we'll take the quick timeout along with him. 17-19 to go. Answer hurt his elbow on that sliding timeout call.
solutions from Siemens can be found everywhere. By making buildings more efficient, communications better integrated, medical centers more advanced, power plants and transportation more modern, we're turning dreams into reality. Jimmy, last season, there's the rankings this week. The spots that are held down by the new teams. Yep, those four on the left right there went to the final four last year. That's where they were ranked. And this week, it's Texas, Oregon, Virginia Tech, and Xavier in those same slots. I love that Texas team. If Durant's ankle gets well, I think I'd take them straight to the Sweet 16, no matter who their first and second round game is against. You know, I've seen Virginia Tech. They can either be a first round loss or a final four club themselves. That shot at the buzzer was off in time, but off the mark. Jones, nice touch pass down low to a Beckway, but he missed in close, and McCauley will clear it. Here comes Grant. Costner, right back to Grant. Maybe one too many passes. Good thought, but they threw it away. And that's one of the things that kind of worries me a little bit about Maryland, a Beckway at times. Only He only shoots 47% from the field, and he shoots all of his stuff six feet in. He can't miss shots like that when they get deep into March. Just outside. And again, North Carolina State all alone for the rebound. McCauley. Did it touch McCauley or not? No, last touch by Gist. And very few transition baskets for North Carolina State today. There have been a few for Maryland. Did low. That was a little about assists. Led the ACC in assists in 81 and 83. Either team able to find the basket right now. Oh. Strawberry, oh. control, a backway picks up the miss. Costner blocked it out of bounds. Costner did a nice job of blocking that shot without picking up another foul. Brad, I think if you're Gary Williams, not only is it important that you win today's game, but it's how you win. You want to make sure you're going forward, heading to Tampa, and not taking a couple of steps back in how you are playing right now. And there's a transition basket. Great pass. The length of the court from Grant, who handled it and scored. And it's down to eight again. You talk about a hard pass to make. About a 35-40 footer. One bounce that came up belt level, and he made it look like a pass you make between guys that are about 10 feet apart. That thing was so low, it looked like he was bowling yeah. overhanded. And the whistle and the foul will be on that to it. But you talk about a pass with eyes. Jimmy and I were right behind it when he let that one go. Here it comes. Look where it bounces up. Just between the knees and the thighs, great hands, but a terrific pass out of Atzer. I used to think it didn't matter what deodorant I chose. Dumb. This test shows that Old Spice is the right choice. Take the Old Spice challenge. I did. You're looking at the unit body structure of one of the most well-built sedans in America. Its reputation for quality and reliability is unmatched. Its sophisticated engineering, legendary. Its commitment to safety, uncompromising. This is the soul of every accord we make. Then we pour our hearts into it. And that completes the picture. You can see Honda in the details. At UBS, financial solutions come from listening very carefully to what our clients say. But even more carefully to what they don't say. You could call it the commitment to understand. We just call it you and us. You and us, UBS. They pick up touchdowns, pick up the bucks, and pick up their teams. Enterprise salutes NCAA student athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise, we'll pick you up. The Verizon Wireless Broadband Access Card transforms any time into productive time. So when you're on the go, so is the network. 
It's 100% business and 0% office. Connect to email, downloads, and browse the internet while working on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. To learn more, visit our website or a store near you. All new Sunday. I always get texts on our anniversary. Just try not to wake me. It would be a shame. I'm pregnant. To miss an episode so sinfully good. And all new Desperate Housewives. Sunday at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. Senior class of 2007. Maryland with six seniors, five seniors started today. Three are normally in the starting lineup, and all three have played very, very well. That's Vasquez's first point as you look at the tournament resume. The wins sweep of Duke and North Carolina. Two of those came this week, and that's what Gary Williams was telling Jimmy and I before the ball game. He was a little bit leery about that because he says, you know what, the players sometimes don't forget that we beat those two teams. And I know the fans aren't going to forget it. we got to put it behind us and use NC State as just the next building block of the ACC tournament. Again, I don't think anyone in college basketball has had a better last 10 days than these Maryland Terps. They've improved their RPI 20 points over the last 11 or 12 days. That's how well Gary Williams' team's playing right now. NC State turns it over. Trying to get an entry pass down on the low block. Vasquez comes back. Strawberry now will bring it back out on top. Maryland has done that six games stretch, Brad, in the best conference in college basketball this year, the ACC. All the wins this league's had against the top 50 RPI just tells you the strength of this Maryland club. Running out of time. Six on the shot clock now. Vasquez has a look. Goes over the top of Absur. That ball last touch, I think, by McCauley, who was battling for the rebound. It's going to give Maryland another shot at it. You talk about climbing the ladder. There it is from 31 to 11 since February the 17th. That's about as good as you can ask for when you're playing in this league. Maryland's got nine wins against the top 50 RPI. Maryland hasn't been to the NCAA tournament in three years. They were picked to finish seventh in the preseason in the ACC. Started two and five, and here they are with a chance to go to ten and six if this lead holds up. And Jones is helping it hold up. Thirteen for Mike Jones, one of the aforementioned seniors. And now the lead is the biggest of the afternoon. And I think you have to have a guy like Jones that can just jump up and stroke one on you when you have to have it. When you get to that second or third week in March. Costner strokes it right back. His second three of this half. 15 points for Brandon. Brandon Costner. Maybe on his way to become a freshman of the year of the ACC. Number four rebounder and the leading scorer on this team. Although he's a retro freshman, typical. Still, he's a freshman as far as classification. He is my freshman of the year in this league with the scoring and rebounding that he's done. Yes comes up short. their fans would but uh, I don't have any problem with your choice well Costner is trying to become only the seventh guy in the history of the ACC to lead his team in both scoring and rebounding as a freshman it's hard to argue against that it really is Grant's fouled in the paints he'll go to the free throw line no Maryland has a 10-point lead but again the pace no rhythm in this ball game is not back and forth the crowd's pretty quiet all those things, I think, still allow NC State to have hope in this game. Grant well under his average. We have not had a lot of free throws in this ballgame. That's the first one of the second half for North Carolina State. Maryland has shot three in the second half and hit them all. Strawberry picked up that foul. That's only his first, though. There's a good shot. You've got to just ignore everything going on and focus in on that rim. It's not easy. And he did. Gavin Grant cuts the lead down to eight. Didn't 
very quiet in here too in the Comcast Center. Where Maryland's only lost twice all year. And that way. He's much more effective, Brad, when he's scoring going towards the rim as opposed to being a shooter about six or seven feet. He's not a shooter, but he can score when he's aggressive going towards that net. And he was the other night against Duke when he had 17. Here's Grant now, back-to-back -back scores by Grant. He's well under his Grant. average. He's starting to warm things up a little bit. We're under 13 minutes, Maryland by eight. Maryland trying to move into the number four spot in the ACC with the ACC turning down to Tampa starting next Thursday. Here's Jones on a fadeaway. Rebound off to Atsur. This time Atsur looking to push it. Let's see if Grant will try a heat check. Nope, he's going to back things up. Big, big ball game for Maryland because if they can move up to that fourth position in the fourth seed, they only have to win three games to win the ACC tournament. That's critical. Grant on the baseline. Short. Fighting for it is McCauley. The ball comes out to Osby, though. And now it's Hayes on the run. Gives it back to the big guy, off the glass. Second time today he's used the glass effectively. And Maryland's bigs, Brad, they're really good at running free throw to free throw. They don't get outside and get wide. They run right down the middle of the floor. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Costner will try a triple. He hit a couple, he missed that one. Kept alive underneath by McCauley, up and under for Ben McCauley. His first score of the second McCauley. half. You're trying to build a program like Sidlow is. You've got to have a workhorse, a major bricklayer like McCauley is. That guy right there now, you know, his attitude and work ethic is going to do a lot of stuff for you. Jones has taken two shots from the same spot and missed them both, but it's kept alive by Evacua. Jones on a floater. Mike Jones, 15 points in his final appearance on this floor. And now over the last three games, Mike Jones is averaging about 10 or 11 points a ball game from the two-point territory. That's good news for Maryland. That's who are inside. It's blocked by Jones. And we've got a timeout with 11.08 to go in the ball game. 55-45. We'll be back after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. All right. Your shipments. Well, this one needs to be in L.A. by 8.30 a.m. This one's going to China, and Frank needs these in Akron next week. Now, wouldn't it be great if one driver could come and pick all this up at once? Well, that guy would work for UPS, because only UPS does that. It's not your shipments. It's your shipments with UPS. Let's go to some shorts. It's going to be hot today. Perfect. High five. How's it look out there? Good? Like when things are real easy? You're going to love what we've done to retirement planning. It's called My Plan from Fidelity. Retirement planning made easy. Smart move. Moving to a new era. The Pods Championship is coming to Innisbrook March 5th through the 11th. Get your tickets today. Amscot is always open, so you can cash any check, anytime, or get free unlimited money orders 365 days a year. Open. Open. Still open. Amscot, you're okay with us. ABC Action News and Sun Toyota bring you the sounds of NASCAR. There's nothing like race day starting March 10th right here on your ABC Action News station. See why ABC Action News is the fastest growing newscast in the morning. A big crash and an insurance mess. A dramatic call for action Monday at 5. The Terps by 10 at home with 11.08 remaining in the ball game Tonight at 8, 7 central, encore presentation of an incredible hour, building a dream, the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy. 
Then Chris Rock and Bernie Mac star in Head of State, ABC Saturday Night Movie of the Week at 9, 8 Central. It's all right here on ABC. Well, they didn't have another Tom Hanks movie? We run out that of was Tom February. Hanks movies? He was in the month of February. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, good. We Tom got Chris Hanks Rock. Month. Okay, yeah. that's good. This could be Chris Rock month because everybody's passing the rock on the inside. See, is nice. something like that? Yeah. And Fells with the basket. Great job out of the timeout for NC State to run their set. They cut and the ball was ready to be delivered. He got a two points coming out of it. That's here with six assists. There's a rejection by Horner. Trying to find a handle that comes back to Ibekwe. Vasquez, Hayes, Ibekwe, Gist, and Strawberry on the floor for Maryland. Here's Hayes for three. And Fells with a rebound. NC State hanging around and hanging around, and we're almost at the midway point of the second half. What a pass. I don't know how Fells handled it, to be honest with you. That got there in a hurry, didn't it? They will run some false motion at times, and all they're doing is trying to get down to the minimum amount of possessions they can have in this ball game. McCauley facing the basket momentarily. Now he starts to back in and kicks it back out to Costner. With a left hand, and the Beckway got another one. But it comes back to Costner. High off the glass this time. He wasn't to be denied. Brandon Costner. Great hands by Costner again. He makes the play below the rim after a Beckway makes the play above the rim on the first shot. Quick timeout with 9.45 remaining. NC State hanging with Maryland. Six-point game and not a happy coach on the Turk sideline. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four bedroom house in a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. How do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. Somebody help me. Need to consolidate your debt? Refinance your first mortgage today at Lending Tree and we'll guarantee you the lowest price or pay you $500 cash. Call or visit Lending Tree. Lead of Maryland's down to six, Jimmy. Gary Williams' defense has let him down the last couple of possessions. NC State's going to run a flex cut. And when they run this flex cut right here, Gist has to be the help defender. And he does not help, and it ends up with a layup right at the rim. Right there, boom, he's got to go with number four in red. Instead, he stays attached to his guy, and it costs him. Live action, Gist missed in close. So Beckway didn't. So Beckway with ten. The officials are going to say that they thought Sidney Lowe had taken a timeout, and he had not, so they're just going to stop things with an inbounds play for NC State in front of the scorer's table. Good call by the officials, first thinking they had her timeout, and changing their mind and getting it right. It's a tight flex offense out of NC State right now. Costner, three won't go. Jones battling for the rebound. Knights bringing it all the way, coast to coast. Lays it up and in. Up until this year, Mike Jones did not make plays like that in transition of the two-point variety. He was a specialist. And again, his ability to continue to do that next week in Tampa and in March, I think is a real key for Maryland if they're going to advance. He's got 17, and a whistle and a foul is going to be on Eric Hayes. Mike he's Jones got the rebound himself, and then he's going to take it all the way. As Jimmy said, not just a spot-up shooter anymore. Took it all the way in. See what he did, Brad, also? He knew he was in traffic. He had wolf defenders coming from behind. He bounced it twice in his right, twice in his left, once in his right, back to his left. He never allowed the defense to come in from behind. Great point. He's led the team in scoring 10 times this year, and he's their leading scorer right now with 17. State needs a bucket this trip. They were getting closer, and now they're getting farther away again as we approach eight and a half minutes. Grant clanged it off the back of the iron, got his own miss. Still can't score it. I think he's going to get to the free throw line off this one. Though. And the foul's going to be on Vasquez. Well, you and I head down uh, tomorrow, actually, to start watching the Colonial Athletic Association. Semi-finals will be tomorrow afternoon. We'll be doing the game Monday night on ESPN. If you look at that league, Old Dominion, Virginia Commonwealth, Drexel, Hofstra, all four of those teams, if they advance to the semis, 
You talk about four teams that are going to try to come up with, I think, three bids out of that league. Championship week just full of great basketball ahead of us. And this day might be full of upsets. It's only halftime, but Ohio State is trailing Michigan by three. And that would be the resume capper for Tommy Amaker if that thing held up. Grant missed his first. I'm not sure Ohio State or Wisconsin consistently score enough points to be standing there with a the trophy above their head in Atlanta. And Wisconsin, only got, Wisconsin only got 52 today, but it was two better than Michigan State. Hayes tried a three from that spot before, same result. Gis keeps it alive, and then Atsur reaches in and picks up the foul. Gary Williams, who's had at least 19 wins for 11 straight years. He's had 16, 20 plus win seasons. And of course, the Arizona Championship, not that far removed. That was in Atlanta the last time they won it, and that's where it'll be this year. Back to back NIT trips for Maryland. So you know that senior class that was honored before the ball game when practice started in October, you know they talked about, let's make sure our senior day this year is really our senior day and not come back for an NIT. So far it is. Whistle and a foul on the inside. That'll be on Courtney Fells. And we'll have Maryland shooting free throws when we return. 7.45 remaining in the ball game. Terrapins hanging on by nine. Verizon Wireless Broadband Access Card transforms any time into productive time. So when you're on the go, so is the network. It's 100% business and 0% office. Connect to email, downloads, and browse the internet while working on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. To learn more, visit our website or a store near you. Does a promise come with an expiration date? Is it good for a month, a year, or decades from now? At New York Live, we make promises that have no expiration date. Promises that are built on the timeless values of financial strength, integrity, and humanity. Promises that we live by. So no matter how the world changes around you, New York Life is the company you keep. At Zero Price, successful investing is about balancing risk and reward intelligently. For each one five and ten year period, 70% of our mutual funds beat the Lipper average, finding the right opportunity. Low cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. Back at the Comcast Center, a KFC three-point bucket storyline. NC State, four out of 13 today. Maryland, three of nine. And Costner has done most of the damage for NC State on the three-point line, and he's one of their big guys on the inside. 59-50, 7.45 remaining. Brad Nestler and Jimmy Dykes with you. Maryland, the seniors. Mike Jones has 17 points. DJ Strawberry has 12. Atena Evekwe has 10. So they're going out in style if this lead holds up as Jones will go to the free throw line. He's the leading scorer in the ballgame. All three of those guys are 1,000-point-plus scorers on the floor at the same time. That's a nice thing you get when your seniors hang around all the way until they're seniors. You get consistency, you get leadership, and you get guys that have scored a lot of points, pulled down a lot of rebounds, blocked a lot of shots. Consistency from Mike Jones has figured in the last six games because up until then he would get 18 points and then the next game he would get two. Then he'd get 19 points and then he'd get four. The last six games he's been consistent 14-15. Here's Grant wow. flying down the court. He's got nine of his 11 in this half. 
NC State will now have to force the action a little bit offensively. Again, they have not won a game in ACC play, and they only score in the 60s, and that's the path that they're on in this one once again. Hayes drops it off. A back way with a finish. So he's got 12 now, and the seniors really playing well. Beckway and Strawberry with 12, and Jones with 19. McCauley forgot to take the ball with him. And here's the outlet to DJ Strawberry. On a run and on a flush. You ever gone to a circus when the when the clown gets shot out of a cannon? <laughs> That's exactly what Strawberry looked like running from defense to offense. Nice feed inside. Grant is fouled by, I believe, Strawberry or Jones. It's going to be on Strawberry. Brad, you talked about the seniors in this ballgame today. I mean, that's just, that's too easy. If Beckway makes the right play again, scoring going towards the rim is when he's at his best. You look at Strawberry. Boom. When he marked the set, go. And he gets to the finish line quicker than anyone else. I don't yeah, think Ben McCauley is going to caught him no. with a 20-mile-an-hour tailwind. Grant at the free throw line about the seniors today from Maryland, but again, the freshman point guards continue to be the lead guys from Maryland. Today, they've combined for 10 assists, Hayes and Vasquez. Good all around play. Yep. Maryland, Maryland showing us why again. This is the second time in about three weeks they've shown us why they are the hottest team of the ACC. Kansas, Memphis, Old Dominion, Maryland, for the hotter teams in the nation heading into this weekend. Memphis doesn't get much love, do they? No, they don't. Nope. Strawberry. The follow by Jones. Everybody getting in the act. Mike Jones with 21. Brad, I think he might be the biggest difference maker for Maryland. Because, again, he's doing so many more things. His game is almost evolving into a strawberry-type game as far as doing a lot of different things other than shooting that basketball. Serapin's at 20 second chance points now, too, with that last follow. There's Pels with a finger roll. Rebound is loose and out of bounds. And it's going to go over to Maryland. 20 second chance points for Maryland today, and how many for NC State? Probably count them on one hand and maybe just a few fingers. Jones is going to get a huge ovation as he goes out, and he even gets five from his coach. And Gary Williams doesn't hand those things out very often. Gives those pats on the back about like handing out manhole covers. <laughs> he wasn't passing them out he to you and I before the game. Us, no. <laughs> he had his game face on, man. Oh, boy. As he should. Important ball game for Maryland. Vasquez wide open for three and missed it. Kept alive, though. By Strawberry. And now he gets it back. They'll reset things and use a little bit of clock as we're under five and a half minutes. 13 point lead matches the biggest of the ball game. Now both freshman point guards are on the floor, closing out ball games with ball handlers. How about the shots that Hayes has taken today? They've all been that variety. Either the teardrop on a runner, that time using the glass way up high on the window. And he's got six. Costner may have gotten away with a walk, and Beckway swatted it out of there. Maryland's got nine block shots. Strawberry goes back door, and he scores again. Sidney Lowe seen enough. DJ Strawberry's dad and mom and the rest of his family are seeing what they had hoped to see. Strawberry fields forever. Oh boy, I guess. Boy, how nice was that little push out of Maryland. Again, they have played awfully good basketball over the last six games. You got a big lead in the break and then Strawberry again can beat you in so many ways. He gets out and runs hard with and without the basketball. Playing the game with a lot of passion, a lot of fire. A senior that has taken ownership in this club over the last month. 16 points and six boards. Maryland is the number one shot blocking team in the ACC. They've got nine more today. They're fifth in the country, in fact, in block shots. Beckway's the guy that got that last one to kind of get things going. And he's got 223 career blocks. So his numbers, 1,076 points, 752 rebounds, 223 blocks. Pretty good career, huh? Big time. That's the kind of team, though, with all that experience, 
can come out of a power league and really do some damage once that bracket comes out on Selection Sunday. Here comes Maryland with numbers again. Yes to a back way. Hanging in the air and scoring. If he would take every shot of Beckway going towards the rim, he would go from a 47% shooter to about a 77% shooter. Another steal by Gist. Gist will do the honors himself. And a Beckway keeps it alive. And the crowd is loving the hustle of Maryland right now and loving the fact that they're up 73-54. And now it's... A 21-point lead. Ten straight points for Maryland. And the door is about ready to close on the Wolfpack. They have been caged in the second half by the Turtles. The game got too quick for them. They cannot win a quick ball game this year with so few numbers. Here comes Maryland again. It'll be a... Celebration night for the seniors and the whole team for Maryland as they're going to cap off the ACC season with seven straight wins with the ACC tournament just around the corner. The Abekwes enjoying what they're seeing from their baby boy. Hey, new KFC variety big box. A lot of stuff. Can you eat that drumstick? Yeah, it's my favorite. Crispy strip? My other favorite. Popcorn chicken. Favorite. Mashed favorite. Cold favorite. Biscuit. Favorite. Do you have a least favorite favorite? I'm going to eat now. Now get all your favorites in one box. Introducing the new variety big box from KFC. Popcorn chicken, a crispy strip, a drumstick, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, a biscuit, and a large drink. Fill up on all your favorites at KFC. Everybody ready for the Oh, that's not good. I'm State Farm Agent Al Sicard, and this is a true story. They took everything, even the kids' uniforms. Coach had to stay with the truck. Al took him over to the mall. He got him new uniforms. He got him to the game just in time. But our coach didn't make it. So I grabbed the clipboard, and I coached. And they ended up winning the whole thing. He got him to play zone. I, I can't get him to play zone. Great service and great rates. It's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there! Likes things automatic. Everything from his wipers to his lights. That's why Jeff has a Fidelity Freedom Fund. It gives him a diversified mix of stocks and bonds. Automatically, of course. Call today to get a Freedom Fund for your IRA. Smart move. Wednesday, one survivor's actions will have consequences no one can see coming. Your override achieved. For mainland communication, enter 3-8. What have you done, John? An all-new episode of Lost, Wednesday at 10, 9 central, only on ABC. It's Comcast Center, Maryland in control. Sunday, all new, all naughty, all desperate. It would be a shame to miss an episode so sinfully good. All new Desperate Housewives, Sunday, 9, 8 central, only on ABC. Well, it might be naughty on Desperate Housewives, but the play of the seniors has been pretty nice for Maryland today. Including Mikhail Beckley, who's fighting for that loose ball. He and Gist and Strawberry. It's going to be NC State ball, though. Big lead. Jerry Williams Club is going to be 24 and 7. This should solidify. They were projected as about a number four seed coming into the day. This should sort of lock that thing up for them. Go into the ACC tournament with a seven game ACC win streak. That's pretty good. Could end up as the number four seed. Some other things still sort of have to happen for Maryland. No turnovers in the second half for the Terrapins. How about that? That's pretty impressive, too. That's one of the things they've cut down on. And it started 
when their streak started. That and better field goal percentage and better rebounding. It all kind of goes hand in hand. Doesn't it? For them to continue to play quick, with that basketball not turning over, and to continue to dominate on the rebounds, that's what Gary Williams says can get us big wins in March. Vasquez got it and won. That's his first field goal of the day, and now he's got a chance to make it a three-point play. You look at this ACC right now. If I had to have a vote, which maybe I will, I can vote my own poll after you this replay, but there's the height that you talked about of the point guards coming into play for Maryland. They can both make plays over the top of you. Dave Lado would be my coach of the year in this league, and maybe coach of the year nationally when you consider Virginia was picked eight. They're going to finish in that top spot, maybe tied for first in this league. That's really some coaching job by Dave Lado. They did lose today, which is kind of a surprise. Yep. Two Wake Forest. But then Washington surprised UCLA. Duke women got surprises. A bunch of surprises going on today. Not really a surprise here. Not with the way this team's been playing over the course of the last three weeks. This is the point of the game. A 21-point lead at two minutes to go. On my senior day, I started getting really, really nervous knowing that I was about to come in and make my last appearance. Just like my guy, Jenny, over there. They're about to bring in a guy that doesn't get used much in the student body. has been chanting for him for about the last five minutes. We want Guinea. We want Guinea. Chakura, there he is. And he just ripped off his warm-up, and it was a standing ovation from the kids behind us. <laughs> Guinea Chakura, here he comes. He might be coming in for the shooting. As Osby comes back in, Vasquez has got to the free throw line. And there goes uh, end of a career here at Maryland. It's been a pretty impressive one from Akene Abekwe. Big numbers. And there's his family having a great time because their son's going to go out a winner on senior day. 1,080, 754, and 223. Those are great numbers. There he comes. Get all the seniors in the action. He's only played 28 minutes all season. And here he comes. And he's going to get about two more minutes here. The end of this ball game. He's got plenty of time to get up at least three or four shots. <laughs> what are they going to do? Not playing the next home game? <laughs> exactly. Costner for three. Got it. Boy, he's got a nice stroke out there for a big guy. For any guy. That That's his third three-pointer. He's got 20 points again. Well, again, he and McCauley are the guys sitting low will continue to build this program around. See, that was a shot. He turned down a shot already. That's a bad senior move by Guinea. Yeah, but he got a great entry pass to Strawberry, <laughs> and Strawberry kicked it back out. And we approach a minute. 13 on the shot clock. Strawberry has a look up at the clock. He's going to go deep. Big clean off the iron. Neiman with a rebound. We're under a minute now. There's the push pass again. Atsuer is so good at that. McCauley can't get the follow. And now he's got a rebound. He doesn't have to shoot. He's in the book. He is in the book. Quick timeout. That would be a big round of applause right now. And here comes DJ Strawberry out. Big hug from his coach. Nice way to go out. 16 points, great floor game. Helped control the ball game as part of that backcourt. Six rebounds and four assists for DJ as well. Chakura got his own miss. He got two rebounds. And now Osby goes down in a lot of pain. In traffic, trying to get a rebound. And Bambale Osme went down hard. Lost his back bigger than ever. All new episodes every week. At a new time now. 10-9 Central only on ABC. And Osby limps off, but he looks to be okay. That's something you don't want to have. Ooh. Have an injury in the final 30 seconds of a game that is way over. Maryland has accomplished what they wanted to do, though. First of all, win the ball game. And the seniors got to go out in style today with a big lead. Walk off to a home crowd, standing ovation. Perfect day for the Maryland Terps. Maryland about to go to 6-0 against teams from North Carolina. As they swept Duke, they beat Carolina, Wake Forest, 
And now North Carolina State, they're going to beat twice. That's a big statement, 6-0 against North Carolina this year, the state up. Some of the kids behind us had a great sign, domination in a picture of the state of North Carolina for the Terrapins. Final two seconds. Maryland goes to 17-2 at home. Big win, seven straight, and they ride into the ACC tournament on a 20-point win over North Carolina State. And the seniors were a major, major part of it. Strawberry, Jones, Avekwe, they all contributed in a big-time way. And Maryland goes to 24-7, and 10-6 in ACC play. They win it 79-59. to 59. That's our final score from Comcast Center for Jimmy Dykes and our entire ABC crew. Brad Nessler saying so long from College Park. Let's send it to Carl Ravage back in the studio. Carl. Brad, thank you very much. So seven in a row in conference for Maryland. You look back on their conference long winning streaks. Well, the last time they won a national championship was their next longest. That was 12 games. So now seven, and Maryland will go into that ACC tournament, perhaps the hottest team in the conference. We've seen Duke be deficient. We've seen Carolina with cracks. Another big win for Maryland, who is rolling. Meantime, let's check some other scores and highlights. Stanford, they had themselves a very comfortable lead over, uh, I should say Arizona had a very comfortable lead over Stanford, and the Cardinal have gotten right back into it. It's now 62-56. I mean, it was 22-7 at one point. It was 41-22 at the half, and now Lute Olsen has got himself calling a timeout. It's 62-56. We're going to get you to that game in just one second. UCLA, the number two team in the country, lost to Washington today. Spencer Haas, John Brock, and their presence down low. A little too much for the Bruins, who lose for only the second time in conference. And Washington beats them by a score of 61-51. to Josh Shipp went for 13. Aaron Aflalo went for 12. A disappointing season for Washington with all the promise. However, winning on their home floor, nearly impossible as the Bruins fall. Now, Washington is 17-2 at home this year. Kevin Durant had himself a huge first half, scored 25 points. Then he twisted his ankle and scored only seven in the second half. He ended up with 32. Kansas wins the Big 12 regular season conference title, 90 to 86. All right, we'll continue our live basketball coverage, ESPN on ABC, with the Arizona-Stanford game. Enjoy it, folks. Well, here Arizona leads Stanford 62-56. As we welcome those of you who watch Maryland to beat North Carolina State by 20 points. Let us update you that 20 was a magic figure for Arizona. They led by 20 in the first half of this game. But this is a never say die Stanford Cardinal team under Coach Johnson. And you can see their comebacks. They trailed by 19 at the intermission after being down by as many as 20 in the first half. Now Radinovich has held the hot hand for the Arizona Wildcats. 24 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. His career high is 27. And there is number 55, Ivan Radinovich. But it has been a steady, steady comeback by the Cardinal. And if you weren't with us, just join us from the East Coast. Six players were stricken by food poisoning here in Palo Alto. They did not practice yesterday. Their point guard has not played at all here in the second half. That is Mitch Johnson. But the bench, especially some impressive performances by underclassmen. There you see Mitch. He's the first one to your left in the sweats. And it is 63-56, seven minutes to go now. Cardinal with the ball, finger open. Can't knock it down, battle for the rebound, and out of bounds. It'll go over, hit the top, and it will be Arizona ball. The stricken six. Washington contributing one three-point hoop and finger with one in the first half, but you can see that this is a shorthanded team here. And the bench has done a great job of getting them back, and there's a pushing foul on one of the Lopez twins. This is Brooke Lopez. Well, no mystery there. Arizona continuing to go through Ivan Radinovich. He is going to get touches on every possession because of his ability as a big man, not only to shoot the ball, play with his back to the basket, but a playmaker as well with excellent vision and passing skills. Lawrence Hill, Stanford's leading scorer back on the floor. Taj Finger sits. 
to give Trent Johnson high marks considering all the aspects, the elements he's been dealing with today. You documented them, Brent, to keep his team in the game. There's the man who has beat them with his offense today. Headed for a career high, no question about that. On fire, shredding the nets, in the zone, however you want to describe it, he's got it today. Stanford is going just a little flat. I think that Arizona dug back in after they let that 20-point lead get away from them. Brown, three, yes! Downtown! A great lift on that shot. A rainmaker up by the Raptors, by the Banners here in Naples. So Brown's career high of 14. He's been a major factor in this comeback. And here they come again. They were within four. A little bit earlier. Trying to do it. Get to within three. Oh, he does. Wow, what a tough shot for Lawrence Hill, the leading scorer, to make it a four-point game again. Talk about a tough angle, Brent, along the baseline. Behind the backboard, able to somehow knock that shot down. Here's Shakur. He sat for a long time. Vidinovich, again, his career game. What a great jump stop, two-foot jump stop by Mustafa Shakur, and the dump off with the bounce pass to the cutting Ivan Radinovich could have a 30-point game here today, and Arizona's put 67 up as a team. Over the top, turned over. Here come the Wildcats. Shakur and Washington picks him off. Let's watch Hill again here. Navigating along the baseline, a tough angle. It's well contested, defended. Wow. That'd be pretty good in a horse game, wouldn't it? Mm. Watch this now. That's pretty. The shooter's roll. 67-61. All fours left. 30-second time out here. Well, of course, a, a reminder that the, uh, the Bush Series, the NASCAR fellas are down in Mexico City. 10.30. They'll take to the air here on the Pacific Network. That's a 200-miler. That's a road course down there. The NASCAR Bush Series goes international. They've got one more international race this year. They'll be up in Montreal. So the Pac-10 awards look like this. Aaron Aflalo, clearly the player of the year, although Darren Collison made a hard run late for the Bruins. And Tony Bennett, they were picked in 10th place by the experts, find themselves in second place and were in contention for a Pac-10 championship coming into the last week of the season. And Chase Budinger, we've seen his skills on display this afternoon. Let me start a rumor. <laughs> if Minnesota and or Michigan looks for a coach, Tony Bennett might be one of their first phone calls. Budinger, rebound by Stanford. Remember now, Bennett's father was the coach at Wisconsin. There's some Wisconsin ties there. Here's Brown. We got in underneath. And Steve Lavin would get a phone call from Pullman. <laughs> Just kidding, Steve. <laughs> That's Mike Montgomery's job. He's had his eyes on that. <laughs> you think Mike Montgomery would ever leave this area? The beautiful weather, the swanky Atherton, the shopping. He's able to take that Golden State yeah. Warriors job after not having to even move. And going to Pullman? I just don't see it happening. Have you been to Missoula? <laughs> Come on. That was early in his career. He's been a spoiled here. Last 20 years, he's gotten used to the lifestyle down There's here. Some good folks up there now, huh? <laughs> Nothing wrong with the folks up there, but I think Mike has seen his days in Missoula. I'm not saying Missoula, but I'm saying the Palouse. <laughs> I think he's seen the days in the Palouse. <laughs> all gossip, folks. All rumor. Based on no fact. All speculation. Wasn't Dick Vitale's conversation with the telephone on the table. <laughs> we don't know where we got. Now, teams are a reflection of the coach's personality. This Stanford team, their poise and composure 
is an example of what Trent Johnson brings to the table as a head coach. Shakur off the dribble now. Williams fade away off iron. Cardinals digging in after trailing by 20, but can they get over the mountain? So often in sports, we see teams come back from huge deficits, but they just, after they get there, they got no energy left in the tank. Here's the three. No, short. See, I don't think Stanford needed a three-point shot on that possession. It's a two-possession game. You can get yourself to the foul line, get a post-touch play inside out. You can get that shot later in the shot clock possession. screen by Rodinovich. Butterger. And he missed. Stamper coming down again. Hill puts it on the floor. Swing by Lopez and one. Put it down. That was a pretty move by Brooke Lopez, one of the Fresno twins. And Brooke Lopez, Brent, showing the dexterity, the agility of a seven-footer. Forced to go left, he spins back, splits the defenders, uses the glass and gets the roll for the deuce. Hey, new KFC variety big box. A lot of stuff. Gonna eat that drumstick? Uh, yeah, it's my favorite. Crispy strip? My other favorite. Popcorn chicken? Favorite. Mashed favorite. 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 Do you have a least favorite favorite? 